Howdy, I'm Zach. This is my Perception Striker 11 and a half kayak. I just wanted to go over some uh, some modifications I've done to it since I bought it. Um, one thing I recently did was the rod holders that came in here, mandatory at the factory, were kind of crap. Uh, they weren't very deep. I heard stories of people's fishing rods and their nets falling out, going down a river. So I took some PVC pipe, uh, painted them up, cut them down, uh, hammered them in here. Uh, one and a half PVC works perfect, fits perfectly in here. Uh, they're not going to go anywhere. Anyway, I uh, used pool noodles with all my fishing poles. Um, they float if I, I, I ever have to tip it or something like that or I lose a fishing pole. I can go back and get it. I also put the paddle clip on. Um, it's come in handy quite a bit. Also got the chair. The seat comes in handy. <laughs> got a little cushion I found. Uh, the chair has some storage in the back. Uh, this is where I usually keep my keys and my wallet and stuff when I'm going down the river. Uh, also got my tackle box back here. I have my tackle box leashed off. That way, if I end up dropping it or tipping it, then I can retrieve it. I always carry my life jacket with me. Sometimes I don't always wear it when I'm when I should. So this is another idea I came up with. This is a uh, laundry hamper bag that I'm going to use for minnows. Minnows and bait fish. Basically, when I get out to the lake, I'll transfer them uh, from the bucket to this mesh bag. And I hang it off my anchor trolley there. I can move it up and down. And uh, whenever I need a new minnow, I just pick it up, zip it, unzip it, and uh, I got a new minnow. There you go. Uh, the Perception kayak I got from Dick came with the anchor trolley. Uh, it came with a nice three pound anchor, with a two pound anchor, I'm sorry. Basically all I did was I put a uh, float onto it. So in case I ever do have to lose the anchor, I can go back and retrieve, retrieve it. It's a pretty good idea. See, my line will be floating in the water. I can go back and retrieve my anchor if I have to lose it. Uh, another thing I did was my cell phone. Anybody that knows that uh, kayakers know that uh, your cell phone gets hot if you hang these on your neck. For a good long period of time, uh, your phone will get hot and it won't let you take pictures. So basically, I connected it to the string that connects um, the lid here. So basically, I can unhook that and hook it back real easy. I also have my whistle. So I stick that in there. It's not going to go anywhere. Also, when I'm finished with this or I'm not using it, I'll just stick it on my hatch. Your hatch has a string that attaches and uh, you can easily just attach that like so, hang it down there. It's not going to go anywhere. You're good to go. <clears throat> so my next order of business is I'm going to get another Scotty rod mount right here. Uh, I'm going to go get me a fish finder. Stick that right there. Probably run, uh, get a ram mount for my transducer. I'm gonna run the transducer arm off the back end there. But anyway, that's uh, that's my kayak. So I've been putting a little bit of work into it and plan to do a lot more. But uh, anyway, tight lines and hope I can get it out again soon. Bye. Howdy, it's Zach again. Here's uh, part number two of uh, my kayak review video of the Perception Striker 11 and a half. Uh, I've had this kayak a year now. I showed you a lot of my mods I put on it in my last video, but over the winter I did a few things. I'll put the transducer mount on. So that's a ram mount transducer. So, uh, I got the wire running through my haul there up to the front and I have my fish finder on so I got it in simulator mode right now 
but uh, it's uh, it's coming handy, that's for sure. I upgraded the chair. Got a chair with a little bit more back support. That's a leader accessory. Um, they had that on sale on Amazon. I got it a lot cheaper than what it normally retails for. But anyway, I also got this new light for night fishing. So it just suction cups on. Pretty stout little light. It's pretty bright in the darkness. So I haven't had any problems with it yet. Now the power hookup I got for the fish finder. I don't know if you can see it's in a little box in here. And here's my electrical hookup. My uh, hobby battery. Got a little foam in there to keep the battery from moving around. I got the connectors on. So basically that's Velcroed inside the hull of the kayak. But, uh, so after a year of having this kayak, uh, I have to say I'm still happy with it. Still very happy with it. I do have a few complaints. It's very slow. I kayak with a few other guys and I can never keep up. This kayak has a lot of great stability, but it's very slow in the water. It's very slow moving. That's one complaint. Another complaint is now these little foot rests, they do come in handy. They do have their use. But man, them things dig into my legs. After I've been on this thing for hours, those things really dig into my legs. As you can see, I still got the strap on the stand. I don't stand too much in this kayak. It's uh, pretty unstable to stand on. I know guys in uh, better balance than me probably have an easier time standing on it. I do use the back seat quite a bit, the top seat. I'll just unlatch my chair and I'll just jump up there. Most of the time though, I use it for extra storage, put my tackle boxes on. Another complaint I have about this kayak is uh, there's really not room in the back for, uh, for a crate or a box set up. So it does have an indention there for buckets. But uh, I really don't like to use the bucket. See, I have uh, another tackle box there, along with my life jacket. Like I showed you in my last video, I extended my rod holders. Those have held up really good. Like I said, I've had this a year now, and I'm still pretty pleased with it. I think in a few more years I might upgrade, but this will get me long fine until then. Well, this is Zach, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, review. I hope it gave you the information you needed. If you're looking into buying a new kayak or maybe wanting an idea to uh, maybe mod your kayak a little bit, uh, here's a few examples of mine. So, well, I hope you enjoyed. Later.